All right. Denver Broncos, mile high view. The only people that get it right consistently. Uh, that would include the uh, great coach Bucket Man, Bubble Man, who told all of you, all you people that said how crazy we were, how stupid we were, we didn't know. Quit football I'm talking about if you don't know what you're talking about. When we said that uh, this was going to be a, uh, a failed experiment, and that is the experiment known as Russell Wilson. Russell F. and Wilson. And I'm going to stop right here. And uh, all right, I don't have too much glare on me, do I? Hello? <laughs> Am I kind of glary? Not you're not you're not horrible. Uh, okay. All right. So anyway, so less than two years to the day, Russell Wilson was being uh brought in for his presser. And before that uh, we had done uh, we had done film on Russell Wilson. And when we did film on Russell Wilson, these same people right now saying they never wanted Russell Wilson. Matter of fact, I did a video saying that they will say that they never wanted Russell Wilson. I actually did a video right when they got Russell Wilson said, when this thing fails, these these liars out there are going to say, they never wanted Russell Wilson. Although, funny thing is, we live in a day where we have plenty of video and audio of them saying how great, how it was going to be three Super Bowls minimums. Three Super Bowls, three to five Super Bowls, okay? Three to five. This is it. You, you, th it's going to quiet us down. It's going to, you'll see, it's going to bury those guys. Yeah. We watched film of Russell Wilson. We said what he is, what he's not. And we said that the Denver Broncos, and the way they're currently constructed, in no way can support Russell Wilson. They cannot support Russell Wilson. And you have people like, I don't know what was these uh, content creators out there. I don't know if it was the Cody Rourke's of the world, what, what, what you had out there, but they were laughing. Film of Wilson. <laughs> He's Russell friggin' Wilson. He's Russell friggin' Wilson. I said, I don't care who he is. I don't care what princess label you give him, what God label you give him. He is who he is. Here's the film. We showed the film. We said, this is a guy that, and everybody talks about, he, he, he has a low interception, which he does. And I said, this is a guy that has a low interception, but he trades sacks for interceptions. Plus, he doesn't have the offensive line as bad as Seattle. If people want to say Seattle was, it's not as bad as Denver. So they bring him in, and Nathaniel Hackett, of course, they, the idea was they were going to bring Aaron Rodgers. Because that's who they really wanted was Aaron Rodgers. But when they got Wilson, we were sold that this is it. We're going to the three, three to five Super Bowls minimum franchise quarterback, yada, yada, yada. And uh, we said this, this, it, it, it can't be sustained. It, it, just, it just couldn't be sustained because the team around Russell Wilson is going to work. So they brought in Dan, uh, Nathaniel Hackett. He got to run his offense one time. That was the Sunday night game. After that, he got a call from the, 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 the guy that doesn't exist, just like uh, uh, the guy before him got a call. And said, we're going to play over the top, take the top off spread defense, which is not Russell Wilson football. And, you know, how, you know, would you, all we can be is right all the time with these, these people. Go ahead and give us your two cents. Uh, with this whole debauchery of Russell Wilson, then they're going to go kill another quarterback. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what is there to say? I mean, this organization is a big old clusterfuck. Like, let's let's 
let's just call it like it is, Chops Liver. As I'm going to get out of the glare. You keep okay. talking. As you get out of the glare, I mean, th- this, uh, who looks like the dumbasses now? Honestly. I mean, you guys look like all you content creators that came on my channel, that came on this man's channel, that came on both of our channels, matter of fact. Who looks like the dumbasses now, man? I mean, to sit there and to say all this all this shit about myself and Chopped Liver and Bubble Man, all, all this shit, how wrong we're going to be, we don't know anything, this, that, and the third, Russell Wilson's going to work. You guys killed another fucking quarterback. I mean, it is a trend now. It is a trendsetter now. You're going to go kill another quarterback when you draft J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, Penix, or trade him for Drake May, whatever the fuck you're going to do. You're going to kill him just like you killed Wilson, Locke, Bridgewater, Peyton Manning. I mean, the, li- the list goes on and on. Flacco, the list goes on. Uh, Kate Keenum, on and on and on and on. Okay? Driscoll on You down. guys are all, and I, I'm going to say this, you guys are cocksuckers. You guys are fucking cocksuckers. Well, what's what? Well, what's, no what's, what's, what, well, exactly who? The content creators. The content creators. The content creators that sold you people on the bill of goods that the C Salamis of the world, the Andrew Masons of the world, the Cody Rourke's of the world, the Mile High Huddles, the Preacher Man Sports, who's a fucking idiot. The list goes on and on and on. You guys came after me, so now you guys are going to feel the wrath of Coach Bucket Man. Fuck you for lying to me yet again. You guys keep lying to me, and you guys continue to get paid for what you what you do. Fuck you. Yeah, so, so, yes. So, this goes to what they're saying. Fans are leaving in droves. You can't continue to keep lying to people, gaslighting them, telling them, no, you're not seeing a bad team here. No, it's. It's the coach over here. That's that's his play. No, no, it's the quarterback over there. It, it's his. It's his fault. What what kind of a situation now is uh, are the Denver Broncos in paying this big old and boy they're they're downplaying the, as bad as this the spot that they're in right now. They Tell them how bad that the spot. They, is. You, hey guys, hey hey content creators out there that told us how are we us two were going to be when we were right on this from the fucking start like always. They set a record today. They they set an NFL record by cutting a guy and the dead cap hit's going to be 85 million dollars. Well that's what they do. It goes back who, this who? goes back to this goes back to Metalik Watson. This goes back to Metalik Watson. This it's wash, rinse, repeat. Now I will say this: this you know I'll give credit when when it's what we do here is we actually we don't just attack all the time, but we have reasons when we attack to attack. But when they they actually do something for once, smart, I'll give them props. You had Sean Payton out there because this ain't coming from the Elway part of the front office. You had Sean Payton uh, interviewing Penix, and he asked him, he says, look, here's where you fucked up. Here's where you fucked up. How do you correct this problem? I mean, that is a start. But why can't they, why can't somebody look at the front office and say, this is where you screwed up. Okay. How in the world are you going to fix this? But it- <laughs> But again, you, oh, he, they did something. It's always with the quarterback. It's always with the quarterback. You you have them interviewing a 4-3 defensive end and Jared Verse. I mean, dude, it doesn't fucking matter. They take one step forward, two steps back. One step forward, two steps back. You know what it is? They're inconsistent. There's no consistency with this organization. But there is one consistency factor with this organization. Killing coaches, killing players, and killing quarterbacks. They are the oh, quarterback yeah. graveyard. They are worse than the Browns. They are worse than the Tampa Bays of the 70s. They're worse than the New York Jets. This is this is on a whole nother fucking level. Oh, it's I, a whole different. It's a whole who, who are the two people that said this was not going to work out? And you folks, the content creators in, that, in Dove Valley, you guys were going to kill Russell Wilson. And what did you do? Brought you killed him. What did you do? You killed him. You killed him. It's all his fault. 
you put them in you put them in different systems you've got a way you you put them on a fucking team that wasn't built and all these content creators are trying to tell me oh we have a better receiving core than seattle uh jerry judy Cortland sutton and they all these said that. they said, said that no. they said that we have receipts of it we have receipts of it we have videos of it and we have articles of it okay told me how great this offensive line is you told me how great this defense is nothing amounted to fucking shit when wilson was here because you want to know why because this team is a dumpster fire that's yes. what it is yes it's a joke and they can't understand you know they go and buy views they buy subscriptions and then when they go live it doesn't match all these these uh subscriptions they have you got, you know, 16K subscribers and they only get like, you know, barely breaking 100 when they go live. They're, 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 they bought all this. And then they're crying that all all the Bronco fans are walking out the door. Yeah. Front I, office, I let me just explain class. this. Hold on a second. Front office, just let me explain this. You, you cannot continue to lie to people. You cannot continue gaslighting people. You got a dumpster fire here. Sean Payton is not going to fix this thing. We can already no. see it isn't going to work. And, and Getting the quarterback him, isn't going to help him. you. They're going to kill him just like they're going to do with George Payton, which they've already done, which who, who yep. are the two people that said that was going to happen? Well, we, well, we said George Payton was a yes man a long time ago. But he wasn't a yes man when Elway was creeping around behind the scenes. He's a yes man now when it's – uh. Uh, Sean Payton, I, I told you, I said, could you imagine if this was Josh McDaniels doing all this stuff? Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, but now, oh, now he's, he's a yes man now. What, what, how does this, do you like guys understand the implications that this dead cap thing has? Do you, do you guys no. not? Do you guys not? Do you no, guys it's not, not a big deal. It took this to is, listen to the liars. This, this is worse than the Jawan James. This is worse than McGlinchey. This is worse than Metal. I, said, I made a video. I said I, it I, would I, become I, that. I, this, this I made is, a video. I said it's going to be Jawan James 2.0 on, on yeah, steroids. Yeah, yeah. It, this is, uh, this, again, This is uh this is uh this is ridiculous, man. And, and and the sheer fact that we were death you and I were death threaded on the constant chop deliver. And you know what? Yeah. I'm going after these content creators because you guys aren't gonna get away with this. Just like you got away with oh Elway isn't there, uh the Nathaniel Hackett, Vance Joseph, Vic Fangio, all this fucking shit that you tried selling me on when you continue to lie, 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 lie. And then you're sitting up there on your high horse saying, oh, we all knew Russell Wilson wasn't going to work out. Fuck you. Oh, yeah. Go back, everybody. Go back and listen to what they said when they got Russell Wilson. Three to five Super Bowls minimum. Three to five Super Bowls minimum. We said that's can that cannot happen. They said we said that that is not, this is not going to be sustainable. It can't this guy, be sustainable. This guy, video. this guy made a video that should be up to 6K views when he showed the video. 6K, 600,000. Uh, dude, dude, there was a video that you published that didn't even get didn't even get a bunch of views now it's now it just it's it's war and peace ladies and gentlemen that video of russell wilson going what's up boss is such a monolithic thing that happened during that time frame up to now that you guys don't understand the implication me and this guy were on it from the very fucking start okay and there's a reason why i'm am animated as i am because i am gonna call out all these fucking lying ass content creators that get paid by that front office to spew a bunch of bullshit yeah they, yeah because the front office can never be wrong it pays their bills it pays their bills so no way could the front office be to blame for any of this but there has to come a time there has to come a time where you've killed so many quarterbacks you've killed so many coaches the finger has to be pointed at the front office why let me ask this question Sandy, Sandy Clough, Clough again, you. Sandy Clough being the lying, being the lying sack of shit that he is, <laughs> said that said that uh, the front office has been cleared out, but we can go online and we can see Stark is there, we can see Moogie is there, 
where you can see John Elway's nephew who who picks these. Pat, who, who, who? Patrick Walsh. Patrick Walsh, John Elway's nephew, who 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 uh, picks these pro scout, who, these pro players, the the Gregories, the Juwan James, McGlinchy, McGlinchies, on and on and on. Yes, that guy. He's still in the front office. I ask. I just want to know. I want to know. I want to know from uh, uh, from the front from the ownership. When you took over the team, why did you allow this to continue? You were sold a bill of goods. And let's say, okay, after the first year, you realized you were lied to. Why didn't you clear the, the front office out when you hired Sean Payton? Why didn't you do that? Because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. And there, there is absolutely no cultural change. No. It's just wash, rinse, repeat there, always. And they can't figure out why the fan base is what they can't figure out why the fan base is walking away. Oh, I oh for we've been walking away from this shithole for two years. I mean, come on, let's okay. Shots living, let me ask you a specific question here. Who was a, the person that kept saying, Do not trust this ownership? This guy right here, because they're so in you you as well, but the guy that fucking was on it from the very beginning said, I don't, where the hell is Rob Walton? He doesn't run, he doesn't want to have anything to do. Finding Lightning McQueen, Condoleezza Rice, Penner. Rob Rob Walton wants nothing to do with the team. He's kicked it off to his son-in-law. It's just, this whole thing is a fucking clusterfuck, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, Michael Penix, guys, they're gonna kill him. They're, they, they're going to kill him. And what did I what did I say to you what was going to happen? We're, we, you think that we we have a time machine. <laughs> Anybody who who's a regular to our, they, they swear to God we have a time machine. We go into the future all the time and come back and report. Just like this, Russell, we said this was going to happen. You, we told you, we warned you, we warned you. And we, we gave you the reasons. We gave you the reasons why. Yes. And they laughed at those reasons. They laughed at it. They took down not my channels. They death threatened me. They death threatened you. They tried to take down your channels. They're trying to suppress the videos that you were already on from the very beginning, Shots Liver. Like, you, I, I understand you're not as animated as I am right now, but I am fucking pissed because the sheer fact is the, the reason I am upset is because how much we've been lied to, and I am tired of it. I am fucking tired of it. These people get paid to talk about the Broncos, and they're always wrong. Always, always, and always, the, always. And the two. And then they say they never said what they said. Then they said they oh, no. didn't say yeah, what yeah, we yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I have these content creators saying, "Oh, we knew Russell Wilson wasn't going to work out." Okay. Three to five Super Bowl minimum. Three to five Super Bowl minimum is saying they knew it wasn't going to work out. These yeah, are the same yeah. people. Three to five Super Bowls minimum. Three to five. And you minimum. know what? And you know what? This is to Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson, I hope you go to the Raiders. I I hope you go to the Raiders just to kick the Broncos' ass for two uh, two games. Well, out kick of their it. ass and have them pay for it. Their I own know. Ass kicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I hope you go to the Raiders, buddy. And I hope you fucking kick the Broncos' ass and the Broncos, like you said, are paying for it. Yeah, because you the know, Broncos would be paying Russell for it. Wilson, Russell Wilson. Okay, I'm always going to go back to this, and, and this is this is right at the press conference where Russell Wilson said, "Are you sure you want to do this?" He did. He didn't want to come Who here. Who was he saying that to? Who was he saying that to? The uh, uh, Phil, the Seattle uh, the front, office. Fox front office. The Seahawks front office. And what was Seattle saying? Oh, we're taking this deal. We're fleecing. Oh, we're going to fleece the Broncos. You're yes. damn right. We're fleecing them. Because they're a bunch of dumbasses. Yeah, yeah, they are. They who are. deserve to be fleeced, and they deserve. They deserve. They all deserve this. every fucking minute of this shit right now. They deserve yeah. the, the the. And you know what? You and I, we have every right to come on here and to our own to our own horn. When all we got was saying, and I went back and looked at the comments, and I commented, I commented back, "Who looks like the dumbasses now?" None of you fucking respond because you no, guys. No, no, they're a no, they're a bunch of. Dude, they're a, cocksuckers. They're say a bunch it, of cocksuckers. It, they're yeah. cocksuckers. They're cocksuckers. Yeah. And they'll always be that. They'll always be that. Fuck you, DNVR. 
Fuck you, Locked On Broncos. Fuck you, Mile High Huddle. Fuck you, Preacher Man Sports. And fuck to everybody who fucking went along with that shit and death threatened me, death threatened this man, death threatened Bubble Man, and also taking down my channels, taking down, suppressing his videos, this, that, and the third. I am not going to hold back on these people. These well, people the Broncos, the Broncos need to be called out. They need to be called out. And I'm going to call them out. I, you know, I, you, can't, I, you can't just get away with killing quarterbacks and coaches and then nobody actually calling you out for it. We have every right to call you out. We said this was going to happen. And all, like you said, we got all that. And Ava, we had everybody that you didn't even have anybody in the, except for Rich Eisen. He was the only one. One person questioned the whole thing. Other than that, everybody just went in lockstep and, and, and parroted the front office of the Denver Broncos. In lockstep. We got we got Russell Wilson. We're like you said, we're going to three to five. It was Super three to five you Super Bowls. He didn't even make the playoffs, and you did. He didn't even last three years here. No, he he <laughs> he. he we're just well. My video on that. I'm I'm going to post a link to it. It should go. It should at least have 600k views, because again, it it aged the best out of any video online, bar none. That this video was posted. It's still under two years because it hits the two-year mark when Russell Wilson's press conference, just after Russell Wilson's press conference. So the video, just for the math, the video was posted zero year, zero year. One year went by, then it's one year old, then that's the second season, okay? Now, as soon as it going on to the third season. So- Russell Wilson technically only lasted less than really technically two years, two seasons, but technically less than two years. That's how fast they killed him. But I also, I want to say this. I told you that the ownership is going to have their own mindset. And I, and this ownership was never on board with Russell Wilson and how could they be? But, you know, if you're going to get rid of Russell Wilson, you're damn well should be getting rid of Stark, Moogie, uh, the pro scout. You got to get rid of the people in the front office. You got to get rid of Simmons. You got to get rid of Bulls. You got to get rid of Singleton. You got to get rid I'm done with it. This, yeah. this, but they're not going to because they're delusional. They're, well, they're the, those players are the poster child of the losing culture Denver Broncos. Yep, and, and you are a losing culture, and you're not a winning culture. And I think Jerry Judy just fits into this culture perfectly. Oh, yeah. He goes on idiot. Twitter. He sucks. He sucks. He goes on Twitter unapologetically, arrogantly running his mouth. No humble to him whatsoever, just like the he front think, office. He, does he think he's Jerry Rice or something? In his delusional mind, yes. Just like the front office thinks they're making all the right moves. In their delusional mind. Oh, Sandy Cloth, you are you 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 love slobbing on that knob for Elway, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I all mean, it's, uh, yeah, you, who's, you who slob on that fucking knob? For and Elway. we did a video where we showed Sean Payton and George Payton saying, "Who's still in the building?" Elway, Elway. When when uh, the when the reject uh, the Patriot reject uh, what what uh, what's his. Uh, Zach Stevens. Zach Stevens, the Patriot reject. When he tried to get pull that uh, yet again, it's matter of fact. I got the video that I've got posted here. When when Elway is 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 hugging Russell Wilson, we were told he didn't exist. He didn't have an office. He had the biggest office there, dude. He had the biggest office. He did. So we got to listen to Sandy Clough lie. You lying. Ugh. I know, I know, I know you don't want to cut. I get it, but my God, I, I am going to go in on these people because these people deserve it. They do. They deserve it. They well, fucking you know, deserve and you're not, And you're not yelling so much at them, but for all the fans that don't have a voice, who are sick and no. tired of being lied to, being. Yeah, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, you'll see. <laughs> I, here's the next thing. I remember I said we. Everybody thinks we have a time machine. They're going to go up, and I told you they were going to do it. They're going to get a quarterback one way or the other. And I have a feeling the quarterback is going to either be Knicks or it's going to be Penix or it's going to be McCarthy, one of these guys, right? 
And you're going to see it about a year, year and a half later, maybe two, maybe even less, because it this, you know, we, we always think it's going to be longer, but it could be less. It always turns out to be less. But you're going to hear these content creators come out and they're going to say these this quarterback they're going to draft that they're he's going to be the next bit. Oh, yeah, this is it. Where you'll see the next we're going to move from you'll see to we didn't draft high enough. We didn't get God himself. We didn't get the princess. We didn't get the handsomest guy at the school because let's face it. All these content creators can do is talk like little school girls. They can't actually talk about football. They just want to talk about, you know, what little school girls talk, who's the prettiest, who's the handsomest, yep. who's got the biggest dick, all this stuff <laughs> like that. You know, that that's that's football talk now. It's it's, you know, yep. throw a little Taylor Swift in there just for shits and giggles. That's that constitutes as football talk. We show, you know, we built this whole thing on show and film. Showed the whole built the whole channel on showing film and explaining why things are the way they are. And we did get a core of people actually saying, okay, we'll take you up on it. We're going to watch film. And they were like, geez, you guys, you guys are right. You guys, you're right about Simmons. He sucks. You're right about what you're seeing on the field and how they, they suck. And suck. they have made a core of our audience. Uh, people have come back and said, uh, yeah, yeah, we've looked at the film and you, you know, you're absolutely right. I, I just had a commenter just recently just post that it, it's like you guys are in a time machine on the latest video I just did. I mean, it, it's just, I mean, this guy saying the, the whole that he said, and I quote that you said at this, at this time frame in the video that the same people from 2017 will still be in this front office. I mean, the same people that are still there are still there guys. I mean, this, this, yeah, this yeah, isn't what do they do? They fact checked. They actually I, fact check and look and say, oh my God, you're right. I, 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 again, I just, I just wanted to do a video. I got to get going for work and stuff like that. I wanted to do a longer video. Maybe you, me, and Bubble Man can figure out a time to do a video. But I, I'm just, I'm over this. I'm over this bullshit. It's going to be the same thing. We're going to get Bo Nix, McCarthy, or Penix, and you guys are going to bury them in two years. It's just going to be the same fucking shit. Well, yeah, you're, he wasn't good. He said that wasn't pretty enough. Yeah, he, he wasn't. He wasn't Caleb Williams. He wasn't Drake. No, he, no, he you didn't go Catholic. after God. You got to get God. It's the only yeah, way. I, I, I'm just. I'm done with this. I'm done with this bullshit. So. All right. I mean, I, but we I, had to call the Denver Broncos out. It was very important considering oh, yeah, we. For sure, because of all the shit that we got. All the shit that we got. And I, yeah, you know what? I'm standing up for the fans that don't have a fucking voice. The fans that are sick and tired of this fucking shit. And you know what's going to be funny? George Payton next and Sean Payton's going to be in lockstep behind George Payton. So Go getting kicked out the door. Drop. Getting kicked out the door. Yep. Get ready for those two shoes to drop right down the fucking drain. Yep. Yep. Never wanted those guys anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but you know, my question is, is, is Stark still going to be there? Is yes. always Nephew yes. still going to yes. be yes. there? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. You know they're going to, dude. You just get this, the ineptitude of that that ownership. Is they, just, they you can't be underestimated. Time. They think they're something that they're not. Let's just fucking call it like it is. They think their their shit don't fucking stink, but you just set an NFL record by cutting another quarterback and killing him, and and setting an NFL record for the for the dead cap hit of eighty five million fucking dollars. And who signed Russell Wilson to that massive contract? The trust, Elway, Joe Ellis, and all those fucking idiots. Yeah. Well, again, it just it's it's how Honestly, they can't Brent. how this front office. I know the ownership is new, but you got to blame them for not getting rid of people. What the fuck they're doing? Yeah. Yes. They got to be blamed, too, at this point as well. I'm sick of it. So, yeah, we're the only people that are going to call them out as they should be called out. Yep. Because we're the only one with the balls to do it. And, and this is the last thing I have to say, then I have to get ready to go do my job, unfortunately. 104.3 The Fan, Mile High Huddle, Locked On Broncos, Preacher Man Sports, for your Walmart generals and all you idiots out there, let me just say this. Sandy Clough. Sandy Clough, 
you guys are the biggest phonies I've ever listened to. And from this point on, for the real fans, shouldn't be listening to them. They're a bunch of frauds. DNVR, you're fake as fuck. You guys are fake. You guys are cocksuckers. Well, what, what, did, what did the uh, what did the new ownership do? They they actually invested into AI. Yeah, docking it. <laughs> AI so docking I, it. I don't want to hear from any of you content creators saying that. Oh, you knew this was coming. You guys were on it from the very beginning. When you Three guys to were five Super Bowls. You guys were just stroking that shit when Three they got to five it. Super Bowls. They said yeah, it. Yeah. You guys were stroking were the Super fuck Bowl bound. out of that move. And all I can say is, everybody, hold them accountable, please. Yes. Go to go to where go to where Russell Wilson was brought in, and 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 point out what they said. Yeah. I'm not saying it. Go watch what they said. Yeah. They didn't say that. Oh my God, this is oh my. What are we doing? We said that. <laughs> not them. <laughs> Three to five Super Bowls minimum. That's the bullshit they peddled. All right, so we kind of said our pieces. I was I was better organized a couple of days ago. Maybe we should have done it then, but uh, yeah. But you know, I'll bet I would all the best of luck to Russell Wilson. I mean, uh, let's, let's face one thing though: one reality, he's getting two hundred fifty million dollars, so he can't really complain too much. No, he can't. But you know what? At least he, I respect Russell Wilson for taking the high road here. Yeah, and- he did. Uh, and that organization, formerly known as the Denver Broncos, buried him. Walmart General. Yeah, yeah, buried him at every possible interview, second, this, that, and the third. So, you got you, <laughs> uh, Greg Penner. This is to you. You better get your head out of your asses. But do I believe? Do I believe that's going to happen? No, because I think you guys are inept, and I don't think you know what the fuck you're doing. So, continue your bullshit, guys. You guys are good at it. So, continue to lie. Continue to put out content creators, continue to put out AI bullshit, and continue to tell me year after year after year, we're just a quarterback away. Let's go get this, you know, let's just turn this, let's just, you know, turn this over, let's just do that, you know, let's just go get that quarterback and let's bury him in two years. I'm over it. Edges, got to get some more edges. Yeah, go get four, three defensive ends in a three, four system. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yep. And, to real fan Bronco fans out there, keep giving them shit. Just oh keep, yeah! Every time they they end up being wrong, and they will be wrong. They always are. Just keep giving them shit. You know, let them pay for their subscriptions. Let them pay for their views. They're yep. fake as hell, and yep. just let them just implode on each other. Yep. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Better get to work. Yep, I guess. Got to go be a slave. Yeah. Take care. Yep. Bye. Bye.